Hey beautifuls! So today I'm giving you guys a quick review on the L'Oreal Advanced Hair Care Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. I don't know why it's called a balm and not a mask, but I'm calling it a mask because I love this. Um, I just bought this a few months ago and I was looking for something that would really kind of start repairing my hair because I heard that hair masks work really well to repair damaged hair and all that kind of thing. So I really wanted to find a hair mask that I could use weekly and to really repair my hair. Now before I will, you guys will see this in my empties video, um, I was using the Garnier Fructis one. This is the fortifying deep conditioner three minute mask for frizzy, dry, or un unmanageable hair. Sorry about that. This is my fourth time trying to film this video, so if I seem really, like, over my words and stuff like that and mixing everything up, I'm sorry, man, but I'm just really frustrated. <laughs> and I'm getting a headache because I'm very frustrated. Um, I get frustrated with myself when I film because if it doesn't go right, like, the first three times, then I'm, I'm just about to throw something. There we go. Using that mask for a while that I just threw. <laughs> And it, it just felt like regular conditioner. It didn't really do anything, and I would only use it after I dyed my hair. So I wasn't really getting the full effect of using it, you know, more over time than I would using this one. This one I picked up at Stop and Shop because it was on sale, and I thought it was a good price. Come to find out, was this, the sale price was the regular price of how much it is at Walmart. So if you guys want to get this bomb, please do go to Walmart and go to Target. Go somewhere that is not a grocery store because grocery store products are always more freaking expensive than the ones at Walmart or Target. So, just a little warning to you guys and use coupons because uh... I am just in love with this. As you guys can see, I've used quite a bit of it and the inside just kind of looks like this. It is a very thick, not extremely thick, but it's a lot thicker of a mask than a normal conditioner, which is really awesome compared to the Garnier Fructis one, which just felt like a regular conditioner I was leaving in my hair. It wasn't like... So this is not like a regular conditioner. Like the Garnier Fructis one just felt like a regular conditioner I was leaving in my hair. This feels like an actual mask, so I really do love it for that reason. I'm sorry about this lighting, but that's what it looks like inside. It kind of has a consistency of butter which is a really bad analogy of a hair product, but it does kind of look like butter because it's yellow and that kind of consistency, but it smells so amazing. It does not smell like butter. It does not smell greasy. It smells just like, I can't even. To me, it smells like a candy that I used, to, and a perfume mixed together as I get it on my nose. Ha! <laughs> but I just, oh, oh God, it, just, it smells so, so good. But this is one of those smells that if you smell it for a long time, if you keep smelling it, you may get a headache. I'm starting to get a headache because I've smelt this like 10 times trying to film this video, but uh, that's besides the point here. The way that I use this mask is that I will use it once a week, roughly every Wednesday or every beginning of the week or end of the week, whenever I really have time to use the mask. Um, whenever day I decide to wash my hair, which is usually in the middle of the week, um, I wash my hair about twice a week, so yeah, I try to preserve the nutrients and stuff in my hair. Nutrients? That sounds like you can eat my hair. Roughly what I will do is I will shampoo my hair like normal and then I will put this stuff in my hair and kind of twist it up in the back of my head and put a hair clip in and then go on doing what I normally do in the shower. Um, normally, if you did not want to use this while you were in the shower, it, you would have to leave this in for about three to five minutes and then rinse it out. I leave this in for five minutes, probably a little bit longer than I should because I do a lot of things in the shower. That sounded wrong, but I, you know, I shave my legs and I take care of my body, okay? I'm not gross like that. And after I rinse it out of my hair, it just, it feels so amazing. It feels like this is not even my hair. Like, this feels like extensions. This doesn't even feel like my hair. I'm not wearing extensions, but my hair just feels so incredible. I cannot even begin to put it into words. It's just, it feels so soft and so just easy to work with. It's, I, I've never really had this with my hair before. Even though I do have product in my hair right now from when I straightened my hair, my hair still feels incredibly soft and supple and amazing even after I showered um, last night. Roughly three to five days, the results of this last long, long time and your hair feels so freaking amazing after. My hair is usually frizzy and it's very chemically treated so to find something that repairs it and makes it feel so amazing is just beyond me and I cannot get enough of this product. The product claims however says repairs up to one year of damage in one use. Deeply repairs and reconstructs dry chemically treated hair which is great for me so if you have dry chemically treated hair definitely go out and get this product or even frizzy hair. This stuff works for me and my hair is very very frizzy. Believe me. I have a lot of breakage up here especially um, when I had my roots if you guys didn't really notice in videos. 
um, out to where they would grow would be um, my natural hair and then the rest of my black hair and that would all be kind of broken and then this part would be fine. So um, my hair gets really frizzy really easily because I keep my hair up all the time. I'm trying not to do that. And um, if you guys are also trying to prevent frizz, these are kind of crappy hair bands. <laughs> um, pink kind of puts out crappy hair bands, I will admit it. But um, they work great for me, so I have no complaints and I love them. But if you guys want to try and prevent more frizziness and you keep your hair up all the time, definitely go to pink and pick a pack of these up. They're only like five bucks, which is a lot for hair bands, I will say. But um, with coupons and stuff, it would be cheaper. And uh, they do really help to cut back the damage on my hair because my hair is just... A lot of breakage comes from me putting my hair up all the time. So if you guys want to get hair bands that are sort of like these from Pink, then by all means, I recommend because it helps for me too. Um, not just with the mask, but um, for when I put my hair up. And I'm babbling on, so yeah. So that was my little mini review of the L'Oreal hair mask. I hope you guys liked the video and it helped you in some way. And I highly recommend this mask to any of you guys. And definitely let me know what other masks there are out there below that are drugstore friendly. Because you guys know I don't really shop high end. Sorry. Um, I'm kind of like the drugstore queen. Okay, I'm not going to take that tile because there's probably a guru on YouTube that is the drugstore queen. But um, <laughs> I just, I always shop at drugstore because... I can't afford all that high-end crap. <laughs> Maybe in the future, but not now. But yeah, so I love you guys. I hope you have an awesome day. And I will see you this week for Friday's video. Love you guys. Bye.